The goblet. <laughs> The Goblet of Fire! Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be watching Harry Potter 4, The Goblet of Fire. It's gonna be like one of those shots you get at the bar. I've never had one, I'm not that cool, but like you get the shot at the bar and it's on fire. I believe you, you blow it out and then you drink it. So that's what I'm imagining. Probably not gonna happen since the last show, they were 13 years old. So I'm guessing they're 14 in this one. That would make sense. That would track. I don't know. What do I know? Oh, also I figured it out. I kept saying Patronus sounded familiar and I couldn't figure out why the word was familiar to me. When I did the Harry Potter quiz on the official Harry Potter website, and found out I was Slytherin. Slytherin representing, this is my reputation ring for Taylor Swift, but Slytherin representing. Uh, I also did my, my Patronus thing. So you go into the woods where they were when all that stuff happened with Sirius Black. When you're there, then you, like you, you take your little quiz and they ask you all these questions to figure out what your, your animal is. Mine was a sparrow. I was severely disappointed. I wanted something a little more like, like have some umph or whatever. My familiar is a cat. So I'm in Slytherin. I have a cat and apparently my Patronus is a sparrow. Cat and a Patronus might not get along, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, Goblet of Fire. Here we go. Let's get into it. Do, 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 do. Where are we? We are not starting this one off at the, at the house of the aunt and uncle. Old guy making tea. Uh -oh. Is it the signal? Dang it! He's probably gonna die. Do you think it's uh, Peter Pett Pettigrew? Voldemort? Not Voldemort! Oh, the old guy. The snake just goes by. Okay. So Voldy's laying on the couch or sitting in a chair. Pettigrew is there. Don't know who that guy is. Abracadabra! Abracadabra, no! Not the groundskeeper, he just wanted his tea! What is up with that hair, Harry? Wake up, Ronald. A woman in my room. I don't know. She's a brave woman to do that. Because I feel like. Most boys sleep in their boxer shorts. I have two younger brothers, and when they were teenagers, that seemed to be the only piece of clothing they had. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad at me for saying that. The ministry. Hey, most. This strapping young lad must be a Cedric, shovel face. Right? It's Edward. Sparkly skin, shovel face. Pulsa. I've never wait, seen. Well, wait. I saw the first I Twilight. Nice you too, sir. <laughs> I should watch Twilight. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a show to heckle. <laughs> oh, Harry does not like shovel face. She's one of my best friends. She calls that guy shovel face. I just can't unsee it. So no hate towards that actor. It's more of an inside joke, okay? This looks like a fun fair. Where are we? Tent is nice. Harry, just never ever seen a tent. You know what I think is funny about Harry is he has been a part of the magical wizarding world for now, this is his fourth year. And he's just every time, it's like, oh, magic. Oh, no. <gasps> Delicious locks of Lucius. Only Get thing I like more than right Snape are Lucius's luscious locks. Top of the So I asked in the last one if there were different schools. So apparently there are. So this is like pro Quidditch. It's like the Super Bowl of Quidditch. Quidditch World Cup. <laughs> Begin. Oh! Yeah, yeah, Quidditch World Cup. We've got to get out of here now. What? We stick together. What the hell? It's like what's Jenny that? Your... Run, run. <laughs> oh, well, that's not. Are these more people out to kill solely Harry, or are they there for a bigger purpose? Uh, oh! Took a foot to the face. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, I'm gonna say he's kind of cute, just a little bit in like a nerdy type of way, like in a nerdy, like evil, like I'm I'm out for blood kind of kind of way. <laughs> Well, now the guy that was gonna kill him knows what is that? for sure that Harry is there. You do it ah! Stop! That's my son! Those people tonight in the masks, they're his too, aren't they? His followers. Death eaters. Death eaters? Wouldn't life eaters be scarier? A man, Harry. Who? Well, I don't know. He was just standing there. 
there. I didn't see his face. How is Harry just supposed to know who all these people are? Like, well, you know, he looked like my cousin Jim if he lost like 50 pounds, but was also like halfway looking like my Aunt Gerda. So maybe if those two got together. Much, much later. And then you threw in a little bit of the lady down the street with the, the bad hair. It looked like that. How is he supposed to know? To the pumpkin pasties, please. <gasps> oh, oh, that's the girl. That's the girl Harry likes. Mm. Oh no, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Hey, you're hungry for something else, Harry, you dog. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. Sirius Black. Anyway. Oh, well behaved owl. You just give him a, a piece of paper with a name on it and just hunts them down. I need an owl like that. I got a couple, couple people I'd like to send some notes to. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event. The Triwizard Tournament brings together three schools Ooh. for a series of magical contests. For each school, a single student is selected to compete. If chosen, you stand alone. I bet it's Harry. Headmistress, Madam Maxine. Ooh. Wait, is this an all ladies school? The hell was that? But the bloody hell. Are we <laughs> shot them all their asses. <laughs> is Hagrid getting a girlfriend? Please greet the proud sons of Dumstrang. An all male school, I'm sure. Kazarov. Yep. They got big sticks. Whoa. Tim, Victor Crumb. But to do this, that student must survive three tasks. Three extremely three. dangerous tasks. You could die. You know, there are three things you could do here that won't hurt you. You could like this video, you'd subscribe to my channel, and you could tell a friend. Or comment. Tell me how much you do or don't like my videos. Wow. It's Mad-Eye Moody. Mad-Eye Moody! See the new dark 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 this one big goblet. Nearly write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. So they have until Thursday to throw their name in the fire to participate in a potential death match amongst everybody. So I'm assuming, and since 17 is the cutoff, I'm assuming everyone that showed up from the other two schools are all 17 or older. That would make sense why their groups were so small and they're probably the like elite and the only ones of that age group that actually wanted to participate. So they're all in, I'm assuming, but I don't know if they still have to enter their names, but I'm sure Harry's gonna slip his name in there somehow because wouldn't be the movie without Harry and friends causing mischief. And your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Yes, who called it? Who called it? <laughs> Mad Eye Moody. Any questions? Where do you get the spy eye? Spy eye. <laughs> You need to be prepared. Picking your boogers. Oh, I can see the back of his head. Oh! I'm here across classrooms. Which curse shall we see first? Weasley. Yes. The imperious curse. Oh, both you. Ew. <laughs> That's a funny way to talk, you know, is it? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, is that the? the thing making someone off themselves? Or is it controlling them like a puppet? Oh, what's it doing to it? I have no context. Is he killing it? Stop it! Can't you see it's bothering him? Stop it! What did he do to it? Give it a migraine? Death? <laughs> Only one person is known to have survived it. That guy! Of course he is! Because love saved him. The power of love. Okay, so I guess control, torture, and death are the three unforgivable curses that'll throw you in Azkaban. And I'm assuming Sirius Black might have been, I mean, they say he's innocent now, but I guess he was linked to one of those three. 
Come on, shovel face, do it. You see this? This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> so smart. A genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dodge as pathetically dim-witted as an aging potion. Bottom sir. <laughs> I love these two. Right. But the goblet's not gonna let it work. <laughs> yeah, <there. laughs> you said. You said. Oh, wait, sorry. Purposes of YouTube monetization. Get along! Oh, oh, well, he's just so cool now, isn't he? He just walked up and was all like, and they just walked off. Like a cool man. A man! A 17 year old man! The champion is Victor Crump. We only choose in one name per school. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yay! Shovel face! Actually, doesn't really look like a shovel face in this show. Like, it's, it's, it doesn't look as slim. Only one will go down in history. Only one will live? I mean, go down in history. <laughs> Blizz Cup. Is this Harry's name? It comes down on a piece of notebook paper. Harry Potter. He just sits down. Oh, Ron is pissed. I'd be pissed too. Like my friend was getting everything. It's not gonna let him compete. He can't. Why didn't you say no? Now there's two people from Hogwarts. It's a freaking tournament. It's not like we're deciding the fates for like, we gotta go to war. Like why did they let him go to the front? Why don't they just override the goblet? Harry, you put your name in the goblet of the fire. No, sir. You ask one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. The rules are absolute. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. What? Look, y'all said these movies get more serious as we go on, right? I mean, we had a guy called Sirius Black. That's how serious these are getting. But I, I don't understand some of the magical objects in this and elements. Don't let Potter compete. You heard Barty, the rules are clear. You made another rule that made the first rule obsolete. Let them unfold. What, offer him up as bait? Knowing what lies ahead. What the what 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 the what? Can he just pull a memory from his cranium? Dude, I need one of those. I'd be pulling them out all day at work, dude. I forget stuff so fast. My poor co-workers are like, hey, can you get to this real quick? Something that'll take me literally five minutes and I'll forget for like three hours and then I'll be like, oh yeah. Sent it! I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't want eternal glory. I just wanna be I just want to be normal, Ron. Piss off. Ron. He wanted to do it with his friend. Love her outfit. What a charismatic quarter. Yes. I'm Rita Skeeter. <laughs> I write for the Daily Prophet. Such an unfortunate name. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? Uh, no, I, I didn't enter. Everyone loves the rebel, Harry. Oh, I like her outfit, but I don't really like her that much. It's great. My eyes aren't glistening with the ghosts of my past. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't need to be a magical witch or wizard, but what I do need are some of these magical items, okay? I need the owl. I need the, uh, the pen and quill. I need the invisibility cloak. You're joking. That's all I got for now. I'm sure more will come up. Oh, the memory puller. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night. P.S. Ah! The bird bite. <laughs> you got bit by the owl. Suspect entrant in the Triwizard Tournament. His eyes swimming with the ghosts of his heart. I took you back to you. His favorite. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Voldemort, but who was the third man in the room? I don't know. He wanted me. I'll watch you, Harry. The only thing not crawling all over you yet are the girls with the haircut. It was a Death Eater, and no one, no one stops being a Death Eater. 
Then there's Barty Crouch, heart of stone, sent his own son to Azkaban. People die in this tournament. I'm not ready then for this. Then why are we doing it? The contradictions. We want to keep everybody safe. We're here to protect the kids. Let's throw them in a tournament where they could die. <sighs> Ronald would like me to tell you <laughs> that Seamus told him. Ron, stop being a 13-year-old girl. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. Yell at the guy who made you do it. Okay, she's on Ron's side. Because really, that should have been yelled at the guy who made you be the in-between person. <sighs> Hagrid, what, what are we doing? Why, why are we bringing a 14-year-old boy well, to your date lamb. night? Forgotten me. Forget you, a lamb. What? Is, what is this? Is Hagrid like? No, seriously. I have a girlfriend. That she's real, and no one would believe him. What is happening? That's the first task. You're joking. Wait, do they have to fight or ride dragons? This is so cool. Dragons. That's the first task. He's serious. As serious as black. My father oh, and I boy. have a bet. You see? There he is. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes in this tournament. What is Malfoy's problem? I mean, really. Oh, okay, so my friend Joy, my BFF. Hey, bestie, hey girl, I love you. I know you're watching these. She told me there's like a lot more to Malfoy, but I don't know that because I didn't read the books. Like he's from like a royal bloodline and he's like, his family is all against mudbloods and stuff being in the school. Like she was saying there's like a lot more history behind that that I don't know. So they're a lot worse than I see in this show. That was like a whole issue. <laughs> he got turned into a ferret. Oh, well, this is highly inappropriate. I love how she's like, it's that a student. We never use transfiguration as a punishment. Had I moody got in trouble? Worth it. Guys, they're standing right behind me. <laughs> Whoa. Wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. A uh, person? I'd believe it if you said a person. What are you going to do about your dragon? Ride it, uh, name it Spot, and give it some kibble. Yes, that it will play to Crumb's strengths. What are your strengths? Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... You're allowed uh. a wand. Oh, oh so, so we gotta teach Harry how to use the wand. These represent four very real dragons, each of which has been given a golden egg to protect. Your objective is simple. Get the egg. Collect the egg. Any questions? Is this a do or die tournament? Like if I don't get the egg, but everyone else did, is it over? Or, or do I have to continue until I like do or die? We'll also say, I know like this is, take it as you will. I kind of wish there was one other female fighting in this tournament also. Like I'm glad they got one representation for the ladies out there, but like would've been cool if they had one more. It didn't work, Harry! Do it again! Abracadabra! Shazam! Haraza my food! Oh, he got this wand! Oh, this... Not this wand, he had the wand. He's got this broom! Oh, crap. Broke the chain, Harry! Broke the chain. Coco, into the tent! Uh, it's kind of their fault for making this uh, a thing. That's it. Hogwarts is the dragons now. He's just streaming over. Oh my god. Push. Push and lift. Push and lift. Oh, he got it. Whee! Back in the air. Harry. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> First round's over, I guess. Yay! He's not dead. The egg, get the egg, get the egg! Yay, Harry! I wonder if he killed the dragon. You think he killed it? That's that's money that goes to the damaged property and the money for the lost dragon. Who wants me to open it? Yeah! Oh! The bloody hell was that? I suppose I was a bit too strong. Boys. <laughs> And they say we're the weird ones. Now I say that, but girls are mean. 
Especially that 13, 14 year old age. Nasty, nasty individuals. Ugh. <gasps> it's go. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What'd you get? What'd you get from mum? Mum sent me a dress. Well, it does match your eyes. Is there a bonnet? What uh -huh. the hell is <laughs> Dress robes. Dress robes? For what? Yeah. For why? On Christmas oh, no, Eve, there's a school of dance. Those are always awkward. Is first and foremost a dance. It's really nobody caught that? To take me a second. Inside every girl, a secret swarm slumbers, longing to burst forth and take flight. Something about the birth. Who are we taking to the dance out of the thing? Y'all can't take Emma Watson, so who else do you take in? I know, I'd take Hermione if I could too, but I'm calling the twins. Um, George and the other one. Those two. I'll take them both. Tall red-headed men. Ah. Or Neville. Oh, I might take Neville. Oh, he's got the shoes. Okay, I'll take Neville. I call Neville. Longbottom and I are going to the dance. The Yule Ball. Clear the floor. Wait, did she just eat a beard hair? And then he okay, I love me a man with a beard, but that was <laughs> that was a bit much. We'll be the only one Can I take you. Snape Don't. to the ball? That was a beautiful way to ask. Oh, girl. <laughs> Come here. Come here. What was that line? You're a, you're a girl. It's one you're thing a for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Oh, Ron, you fool. And I said yes. Tonight, we'll get back to the common room. <laughs> both of partners. Agreed? Cut their heads together. Agreed. Oh. Or do that. Dances were so weird, man. There's this one kid in high school who had a crush on me and I knew he did, but I didn't like him that way. And stupidly I went up and I asked him, hey, do you know the date for homecoming? And that poor guy, like he got all flustered and excited and like, <gasps> Like was beside himself. He was literally dropping stuff. And he's like, what? And I was like, the, the date, you know, like what's the day that he thought I was asking him to homecoming. I wasn't, I was literally just asking for the day. I felt bad afterwards. He's a very sweet guy, but we were just friends. Anyway, I don't know. That's the only like strange situation I ever knew about. I, he's the only person I ever knew that had a crush on. Weird little old me in high school. Floofy hair and braces. Wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. No. You know, I like it when they walk. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Just sort of slipped out. Actually, he sort of screamed at her. It was a bit frightening. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Harry. Always like can you girls, like, line. not walk to get... Sweet. Don't ask them. Yeah. Hey. Your friend is having a meltdown, and you're gonna chase after two girls? That you know are easy. Really? I look like my great aunt Tessie. <laughs> Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Oh my god! Murder me, Harry. Poor Ron. Why do you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? She's coming with Crumb. We take the Mickey and you guys are going to be Nobody sore losers her. about it. Come along this way. Oh. Oh, they both wanted Harry and she got stuck with Ron. Oh, that's bad. Oh, his girlfriend went with Shovel Faith. I gotta stop calling him that. You guys are gonna get so mad at me. His girlfriend went with Edward. She's so cute. That's a nice, wow, I like how she did her hair. I feel like Harry sees Hermione as like a sister. God, she's gorgeous. Okay, I'm changing it. I'm taking Emma Watson to the ball. I know I said she was off limits. I wanted her for myself. <laughs> Is that Hermione Granger with Victor Crump? No. I'm absolutely no. Ron. Oh, I would have taken her, you know. She wasn't crying alone in her room. Meanwhile, she's with the hottest, most desirable guy there. He <laughs> did with the cat. I love it. Oh, Jenny Now I have your uh... arm, leg. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're leaving together. Ooh. Oh, 
What a gentleman. Her head's spinning. Ah, uh, she has felt some things that she has never felt before. Okay, I'm just saying, a guy like that picks you up for the first time, you're gonna feel some things. International magical cooperation to make friends. I think he's got a bit more than a friendship on his mind. <laughs> Run is jelly. Next time there's a ball, pack up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. That's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. She just straight up told Ron she liked him. Ron, you spoiled everything! It's about her liking you! It's so obvious! She went with the hottest, most desirable guy to make Ron jealous because he was too stupid to ask her. We're back at the cheeky shack. Ah, yes. The time is close now. Harry, at last, I can give our guest a proper greeting. Oh, sneak! Oh, Harry was there. It is more of a physical being. Physical, do you say? <laughs> You're 14. I just mean he's not particularly There we go. I'm scared for you. I think she's worried about Harry. I don't think she likes him that way though, because I mean, she basically admitted it to Ron. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Huh? Oh, okay. Topless mermaid mural? Is it a siren? Is it a siren scream? I tried putting it in the water if I were you. Ronnie Myrtle! Myrtle! Long time, no see. Oh? I'm sure Myrtle has seen. The other boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and someone. Myrtle so is so weird! Come see us where our voices cover what we do. Uh, Myrtle was doing some hand gestures. <laughs> I bet there's some freaky fanfic about Moaning Myrtle in that tub. Presumably Potter is well prepared by now and could do with a good <sighs> night's sleep. Go. Now! Question, if this tournament is do or die, if you couldn't figure out the riddle, if you couldn't figure out the riddle, like, do you not get to go? But otherwise... I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. I love Neville. Simple enough. Put that in your mouth. Except for this. They will have but one hour to do so that. Did everyone else get gillyweed? No magic will <laughs> save You may take it. Harry didn't eat it fast enough. Oh, they got a thing on his leg to stab someone. Oh, is he growing gills? Oh, 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 he full fished. Oh my God, I've killed Harry Potter. What? Yeah! Yeah! Why, why would you show that off? Did everyone get the gillyweed? I don't know, is everyone affected by sirens? They're down there. Wouldn't they rip them apart? What if they eat them? How do they get them back? Again, is it do or die? Is that Ron? Hermione? Oh, his girlfriend and... But he's my friend Twibble. Oh. Only one. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, he got his uh, his woman. That makes sense. I, I don't know who the last one is. I don't know who that girl is, but apparently the chick's gotta come get her. If they don't save the friend, does that mean that the friend dies too? Oh, she gave up. So I mean that girl that's down there, if Harry didn't grab her, would die? Kick, Harry, kick! Oh, schnitzel. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Oh, crap. Why are they grabbing Harry? Because he cheated? Uh-uh. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Blastium sperm! Something! Jetpack yourself to the surface! Yeah, no thanks to you! 
That's it. Harry Potter, bested by the octopi. Drowned at the bottom of the lake. Nope, there he goes. Whee! Oh, yay! <laughs> you can't keep a potter. You can't keep a potter. You can't keep a potter down. My little sister. Thank you. You helped. Wow. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> oh. Hurry! Personally, I think you behaved admirably. I finished last time, Ivy. But you finished! And in a do or die competition, last doesn't matter. Also, like, did Hermione and Ron volunteer, or were they just like, hey guys, we gotta talk to you real quick? And then they just conked him out and threw him in the lake. So I feel like there's a lawsuit of Bruin. The winner is Mr. Diggy! Yeah! Our seeing as Mr. Potter would have finished first. Had it not been for his determination to rescue not only Mr. Weasley, but reward him second place. No! No! The other guy got first place because he got first place. And then you just say, oh, and then Harry Potter did an outstanding thing and saved two people even though he didn't have to. So great. <sighs> Freaking Dumbledore. I was juking the steps. Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. Oh, oh, he's been caught. And they say I'm mad. Mad Eye Moody, it's my favorite. I don't know why, but Mad Eye Moody brings out my Irish side. <laughs> Poor Harry, he's just over here like I didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose me. Is it a dead guy? Mr. Crouch? Oh, snap! So many people have died at the school. Why are we surprised? We're literally holding a tournament for students to die. I can come back later, Professor. Oh, not necessarily, Harry. The minister and I are done. Ah! Ew! Ew! No. Well, that's what you get for taking more than one, Harry. Is he going to see all Dumbledore's memories? I don't know if I'd want someone seeing my memories. Got some weird stuff. Let's see. Let's see what's we looking at. Professor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Harry, you're not really there. You have been brought from Azkaban at your own request to present evidence to this council. Council may be prepared to order your immediate release. Remain in the eyes of the ministry a convicted death eater. Do you accept these terms? Rosia. Evan Rosia. If that is all the witness has to offer. No, 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 no. There was Rockwood. He was a spy. Well, that lady, sir. Know who from inside the ministry itself. Very well. What about Snape? Severus Snape. As well, the council is very much aware, I've given evidence on this matter. Severus Snape was indeed a death eater, and prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us at great personal it's risk. Snape worked for Voldy. Heard about one more. What's that? The name. Yes. Is it Dumbledore? I know. Torture of the Auror Frank Longbottom and his wife! Name! Longbottom? Give me the name! Marty Crouch! Who? Oh. Junior. Oh! Hello, father. Oh. You are no son of mine. I'm telling you, when he's not doing the crazy thing, he's, he's a cute guy. Every time I get close to an answer, it slips away. <laughs> Dumbledore's really just an old guy going crazy in a tower. Sir, Mr. Crouch's son, what exactly happened to him? He was sent to Azkaban, destroyed Barty to do it. Why do you ask? Because he's not there anymore. Azkaban is uh, slipping. Their security's not as tight as it once was. And Wormtail was there too, and Mr. Crouch's son. Isn't that Pettigrew? I thought that was Peter Pettigrew. I missed something. Please tell me in the comments what I missed. I missed something important, didn't I? Fine, Severus. You know what it means as well as I. It's a tattoo he saw. Severus has one. Bubble juice, sir. Veritas serum. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his dark. Special secret. syrup. I wonder if it's from Canada. Stave's giving him secret Canadian syrup. You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion, and believe me, I'm going to find out why. Anyone else cold? Come on, get under the blanket. There you go. That's your side. <laughs> First person to touch the cup will be the winner! Touch the cup. You see people change in the maze.
Oh, it's one of them. It changes mazes. Now, how are the people supposed to watch what's going on? So like in Tokyo Drift 3, they just have like people with flip phones at every corner <laughs> so everyone can watch. I, I seem to stay pretty level-headed. <laughs> Take back the level-head comment. Run for your life! It scared me so bad. Oh my gosh. Stay calm. You know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like this girl just crying like, <laughs> Oh shit, she did? Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure they said you can shoot up red sparks if you need help. So why didn't Crumb shoot some off for that lady and then just run? Size always look like that? There she goes. Periculum! How is that supposed to show anybody where they need help? Schnitzel, what happened? No, don't stop! He's bewitched, Cedric! Cedric, he's bewitched! Oh crap. Get him, Harry! Elbow him! Well, you gotta catch up first. You're kinda too far back to elbow. <laughs> Ow! Why does it always feel like everything is in Harry's face? Just just keep shoot off some sparks and keep running! Harry. Oh, is so he just gonna leave him there? I would have been like, you have to give me a five minute head start and I'll help you. Cause, cause I'm a Slytherin and I'm a bit of a, a bit of a bitch in these situations. <laughs> Very competitive. Five minute head start, go. What if they, what if they hunger games it? And they touch it at the same time together. Well, they both win. Whiz Blizz, touch One, the cup. It. You saved me, take it together. One, two, three. three. Riddle. Oh, Tom Riddle. We have Voldy's grave. Wait, why would the thing take him to Voldy? Wait. Oh, that's the thing in his dreams. I've been here before. Where'd the cup go? We have to get back to the cup now. Who are you? What do you want? Kill the spare. No! Cedric! Cedric! Is, is Voldemort seriously like a wrinkly little baby? Sacrifice. Oh. Oh. Forcibly taken. Well, didn't need that much, I guess. He just nopes out of there. He's like, did my part bye. <laughs> Ooh. Harry, shut up. Oh, he's like an alien. It's like, really? I couldn't have come back with my hair? My long, luscious locks? Okay, so he's back for reals this time. Yes. In the comments, please, what is up with the tattoo? Uh, oh, he just like ripped the heads. Well, it didn't really rip their heads, but he just killed them all. Lucius. What? I killed him, and I detected any sign. The luscious locks of Lucius were in with Voldy? This I have been obliged to present each day. Is Voldy just gonna take his hair as punishment? Whoa, he got his hand back. Kind of. Such a handsome ah, boy. Don't touch him! He sticks oh, his foot I'd on his face. Forgot how I truly lost my power. Yeah. I think we're all dying to know. He provided the ultimate protection. I could not touch him. It was okay. old magic. I can touch you. You've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? First, we bow to each other. I said bow. <laughs> That's better. Uh, hey, uh, Voldemort's not the best with social skills. Ah! God, he's 14! Leave him alone! It's like, this isn't even a fair fight. Like, that's what's not cool about it. I'm going to destroy you. Why? No one will ever again question my power. Why? If they speak of you, they'll speak only of how you... Why? 
Does killing a 14 year old boy establish your manhood? Wouldn't it be better like for Voldemort to just leave him alone until he's grown and he's a strong wizard, like he's a man and then he beats him? Like it's pretty pathetic that he has to kill the kid so young. Also, why did he try to kill Harry as a baby anyway? Like what's the deal with that? Okay, they got brother wands, all right? They're gonna be... What if they were just equally matched and just stuck there for life? Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. We can linger for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment, do you understand? Take my body back to my father. Let go. Let go! The hell is happening? He's back. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. The trauma this poor boy has been through. Gasp! Someone actually died in the tournament where we sent them to die? <laughs> My boy! <laughs> That's her boyfriend. I think I would have told everyone to leave, not stay in their seats. This is horrible. Lucius is a part of Foldy's crew. I knew he was bad, but I didn't see that coming. Mad about it. Dang it. What's in the box? Something in the box. All right, Potter. No! Does it hurt? Falling into one of my dreams. What the? <laughs> Oh, Is Mad Eye Moody another werewolf? Is he a Jekyll and Hyde? What's in the box? In the graveyard where there are others. I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. I think Cedric Diggory would have told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first myself. Do you think what? Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it? Yeah! If you had the power to do these things, why didn't you just do it? Why use all the pawns? You won because I made it so butter. Blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. Once again, the Dark Arts is... These people are nuts. We're getting a new one next year. Is it Snape? Is it Dumbledore? It's Dumbledore. I wish it was Snape. Oh, Snape's right there. Is that what he was in before? You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Albus. Apologies, Persian. Now we know who's been seeding from your store, Severus. We'll catch up in a minute. He was right. We would never have guessed who was in there. Ah, spy on it. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Your armor. Uh -huh. Voldemort has returned. I'm sorry, so I couldn't help. What? I'll be welcomed back like a hero. Perhaps. Percy, I've never what? had much time for heroes. Why did we show Harry's arm? He's got the weird tongue thing. It really takes away from the attractive qualities of his face. Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. You remember that. And we'll celebrate a boy who was kind and honest and brave and true, right to the very end. I put you in terrible danger this year, Harry. I'm sorry. Professor, when I was in the graveyard, there was a moment. Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. What? You saw your parents that night, didn't you? Yeah. No spell can reawaken the dead, Harry. I trust you know that. But he saw them. They like popped out of his wand like Daisy. So what happens when the wand kills somebody? It gets their soul? You're not alone. I feel like Dumbledore is just too cryptic. Oh, Aw. Aw. French girl. She likes run. Harry, please get a haircut before the next one. Right? He gets a haircut. Everything's 
going to change now, isn't it? What, what do you mean? You got boyfriends now? Voldemort's alive and, and coming to kill your friend? Why does the boat keep going underwater? It's so weird, but okay. All right, I have a couple notes. Well, more questions than notes. I like this one. So far, I've been enjoying all of them. Yes, they are getting darker. So you guys told me I believed you and it happened. So not disappointed about that. Yeah, I am disappointed about the luscious locks of Lucius being a freaking Voldemort supporter. What the heck is that about? And then Snape apparently used to be a Voldy supporter and he's not anymore. He became a spy, like he turned and it's a spy, so he's actually a good guy. See, that's what I'm saying. Just because he's emo doesn't mean he's bad, okay? Maybe he made some bad decisions, but he, he doesn't seem bad to me anymore. I don't know. I like Snape. Personally, I feel like Snape is just misunderstood, but I could be totally getting a wrong read on that. Dumbledore? I, I don't know. I have weird feelings about Dumbledore because I feel like we're four movies in, and we don't really know a lot about him, so I'm really hoping that they'll give us some, like, more exposition, more backstory on Dumbledore, hopefully maybe in the next Next one. Also, like what I really, really want to know is does Harry get a haircut? Because I don't know what was up with that fro he had, but like, was it really the best look? Also, I think Hermione has a crush on Ron, which again, I could be misreading that because I'm not the best when it comes to like the way people, like I girl, the way everyone feels about one another, like in real life, like I, I am terrible. I did just have the worst read ever. Anyway, I'm excited to get to the next one. It is four o'clock in the morning, so I'm not watching another one tonight, but you know what? For everyone who stayed around, if you guys are looking for more content because you don't want to go to bed yet, you can go check out my Patreon and I got some other things going on over there. So if you want to check that out, feel free. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.